In this video, we'll learn how to solve apportionment problems using Jefferson's method. Here's a typical problem. Suppose a nation has four states with populations shown below and a representative body with 60 seats. How many seats should each state get? At this point, if you haven't watched the introduction video, you should click the link below and watch that now. As we saw in that video, we can take the standard divisor, which is the total population of the entire country, divided by the number of seats, and use that to compute the fair shares. The fair shares tells us how many seats each state should get, but since those numbers aren't whole numbers, and the number of seats we assign must be a whole number, we need a way to resolve this problem. So Jefferson's method gives us a way to do that. Jefferson's method says to round all of the shares down, but of course that won't give us enough seats. That will give us a number of seats that's less than the number that we're looking for. So what we'll do is we'll modify that standard divisor by making it smaller until the rounded shares add up to the correct total. Let's see how this works. So we take those fair shares and we round them down. So take 21.47, round that down to 21, take 18.38, round that down to 18, and so on. And that gives us 58 seats, which is of course not enough. We want to have a total of 60 seats assigned to all the states. So we got those fair shares by dividing the populations of each state by that standard divisor, 3460. So if we divided by a smaller number, we would get bigger answers. So our modified divisor should be something that's less than 3460. And at this point it becomes sort of a guessing game. We want to find some number that's less than 3460 so that when we find our shares and round them down, it adds up to the 60 seats that we're looking for. So let's try a number that's less than 3460. Let's try 3000. So for state A, the modified share for state A is the population of state A divided by our new divisor. So that gives us 24.76. The rounded share for state A is simply that number rounded down. So right now it's looking like A is going to get assigned 24 seats. We do the same thing for B, C, and D, dividing the population of each state by our modified divisor and then rounding the answer down. But unfortunately that gives us a total of 68 seats, and that's way too many. So that means that we made our divisor too small. We know we want a divisor that's less than the original divisor, less than 3460, but now we know that 3000 is too small. So let's find a number that's still less than 3460, but bigger than 3000. Let's try 3400. That's a lot closer to where we started. So once again, we'll take the population of state A divided by our new modified divisor that gives us 21.84, and then the rounded share will be that number rounded down. Again, do the same thing for B, C, and D, dividing each state's population by our modified divisor and rounding down. And once again, it looks like we didn't quite get the right divisor because now we only have 59 seats, which isn't large enough. So we did better than we did with the original divisor. We had 58 seats with the original divisor, now we have 59, but we still haven't gotten our magic number of 60. So we need to make our divisor a little bit smaller because again, dividing by a smaller number will give us bigger answers. So if we have not enough seats, that means we need to make the divisor smaller. So a little bit less than 3400, let's try 3350. Once again, dividing the population of each state by 3350, and then rounding the answer down, now we found the right answer. So that's Jefferson's method.